I have been getting quite a few emails and DMs on Instagram asking me why sometimes people develop these ridges on their thumbnail. So in today's video, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to explain what this is, what it's called, how to correct it. And I'm going to share a very, very good story that I just received one from one of our viewers. And she explained how she corrected this. I sent this email to myself just so I'm not sharing the names. So thank you for not being a BS content creator. That's, this was awesome. And giving actual applicable advice. A single sentence from one of your posts that was on Instagram changed so much for me. In early October 2022, I stumbled upon your post of a picture with a thumbnail that looked almost exactly like mine. No proximal nail fold and horizontal ridges across the nail. Now, the nails on my thumbs were like this for about 16, 17 years. And the only people that I knew with this condition are my aunt, my aunt and my late grandma. So I thought it was something genetic and I've made my peace with the fact that I have to hide my thumbs for the rest of my life. You can pretty much, much guess the amount of filing I have done to make them look remotely presentable. That's what people do and it doesn't work. So I'm going to show you the Instagram post that I made. So this was the picture that I posted and that was actually one of our viewers, uh, one of our Instagram followers. This was the second, her other thumb and the rest of the nails were good, right? So the other hand is good. Okay. is good as well. So let's talk about what's happening with these thumbs. So this is called habit tick nail deformity and it's a form of nail degeneration that results from constant external trauma to the matrix so where the nail is forming the root and the trauma doesn't have to be really hard sometimes it's just picking um, at the skin around the nail because that's that's where it is so the cuticle is often missing and the proximal nail fold so the flap of the skin that covers the nail so the skin around the nail is usually inflamed and often damaged Usually people are unaware or unconscious of this behavior. Although any nail can be affected, usually both thumbnails are affected. So the goal is to stop the habit so the nail can grow out healthy, but easier said than done, right? I personally suggest gentle massaging with nail oil or even Vaseline to soften and smooth the skin and the nails so that there is less chances of picking, less temptation to pick. Once the skin is nice and smooth, there is less to pick. And that seems to work for a majority of people. Using physical barrier like cotton gloves or even bandaging the offended, offended, affected finger might help. This works by preventing the trauma and it acts as a reminder not to pick. And here's the thing. I've heard that some recommend using cyanoacrylate, which is a, a nail glue, to bond the nail with the skin where the nail is missing cuticle, protecting the nail matrix, the root, that way, from further trauma. This is why gentle manicures are so important because you don't want to be removing the cuticle between the skin, so the proximal nail fold and the nail because the cuticle is a seal and it protects the nail. Once that seal is gone from underneath the skin, then problems like this happen. So exactly, gentle manicure method, knowing how easy it is to damage the nail is the reason why I'm such a proponent of non-invasive manicures. Cutting and abrading the skin around the nails can lead to inflammation, which can disfigure, disfigure the nail. It can cause full-blown infection, which can permanently damage the matrix, which is the root of the nail, and in turn permanently damage the nail. So I recommend daily gentle nail care and weekly gentle DIY manicures. And of course, I talked about the YouTube channel. All right, so let's go back to her story. Your post made me realize that this is actually a habit tick nail deformity. As soon as I read my, your post, I raced to the drugstore and bought a nail, nail glue. Your post mentioned several methods, but I figured the nail glue was the easiest to do. I had zero hope, to be honest. I applied the glue to the place where the proximal nail fold should be or where the cuticle uh, should be. I had to reapply every couple days as the skin would separate from the nail occasionally. And also the glue, the, the adhesive doesn't really work for a very long time. So that's, this is quite normal. The before picture was taken some days after applying the glue and the glue residue is visible in the picture. 
Dear Anna, I could not believe my eyes. After about 10 days or so, the proximal nail folds grew out completely. Healthy looking nail plates started to grow with it. I'm still in disbelief and I don't know what boggles my mind more. The fact that it worked so quickly or that it was actually my behavior that was causing it. She's a very good writer, by the way. The next day applying the glue was when I realized how much I was touching, pressing, picking, and just messing with the nails in general. Exactly, because that's really, and then you feel something, right? Getting rid of this habit was the hardest part of the process, I agree. It was probably why the glue kept separating, probably, and also because it just doesn't last very long. As you can see, it took me about seven months for the nail to grow completely to my preferred length. Although the proximal nail folds grew very quickly, there was no cuticle. They, they, or it appeared about 10 months in, as seen in the January picture. As I'm editing the video, I realized that I said 10 months. Clearly, it says four months. They appeared about four months in, as seen in the January picture. Okay, so this was before, as you can see from the profile, there is quite a lot of ridges, and even ridges here, like indentations in January. So you can see uh, there is much smoother growth, huge, huge difference with how the nail looks. Incredible. And this is how the nails looked before short shortening them in April. As you can see, there is still a little bit of a uneven here area and here. And then after shortening them, as you can see, there is nothing left of the damaged nail. So she also said, what a gorgeous nails as well. Wow. One more thing has changed. My middle finger has nails straight, straightened out. They were extremely bent downwards. Sorry for not having before and after picture. So the middle finger, let's look at the middle finger. Yeah, it looks really good. I still cannot believe my thumb nails look like this now. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. You are very welcome and I'm very happy that this has worked for you. So now, important, my current nail routine, the short version. So this is really simple and sometimes less is more. Uh, nail oil a couple times a day, jojoba two to three times a day. Jojoba is actually one of the best uh, things and it's actually not even an oil, it's, it's a wax ester, but it looks like an oil and that's why everyone calls it an oil, but it's actually a wax ester and it has a very, very small molecule, so it, it penetrates the nail much better. So removing nail polish Friday night, applying new polish on Sunday night. This is a very, very good idea as well to give the nails about a day without any nail polish so the, the, the oil can penetrate the nail and can plasticize it. Shortening, shaping, and cuticle removal every two to three weeks. Sometimes I recommend, it just really depends. I recommend doing that every week or two, but it really depends on the nails, how fast they grow and on your needs. Pushing back the proximal nail fold every two to three days. This is really good because that way that skin won't um, stick to the nail and won't stretch with it. But this has to be done very gently and being mindful of my nails as much as I can. I just wanted to share this with you and thank you also to anyone who has habit tick nail deformity. There is hope even though I had it for 17 years like I did. So this is really, really good. So if one of you guys is dealing with this right now, please let me know in the comment section and I would love to see pictures and hopefully the tips that I gave you in this video works for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.